Three, two, one, go. All right. So there's also a different point. In addition to the world record being faster, there is a different point at which we end the run. And I'm going to try something that I used to do and then I stopped, which is retire the hero before we even enter the castle. The idea being that we could get a character with better stats and a better spell. I'm going to try it. Um, we have the opportunity for it. I've never really practiced with this weapon. Might as well. I'm not buying the other one because I have no idea about it. Not having the shield is probably devastating, though. But, I mean, we had a chance at a contrarian for our first life. And I don't have much experience with a pirate, but who cares? Alright, it's cool. Right? How's it going, Lambo Droid? So, we need to start doing runs again. And while I'm at it, I just found a contrarian. I'm like, why not? That was the incorrect one. Oh well. Yeah, the problem is I can't really cast, I can't really shoot the cannon very easily because of my control scheme. So this might have just been a bad idea. I just, I knew um, some people love the pirate, so I assumed that its damage output was way higher than it actually is. It's just that its damage output is supported by the fact that it can shoot. So it's like you have to use two that then shoot. Apparently the cannons are the actual damage. Because this is 26 and the cannon is 34. So. Yeah. If you know how to use pirate, this is good. The problem is, guess who doesn't know how to use pirate? Guess who hasn't... Alright, well, either way, this run will be an experience, so I'm going to keep it for now. I'm just trying to wait for that to come back, because I just wanted that gold. Was not worth it, bet, I bet. Go back. Thank you, meat. All right, I don't have shield. Ooh. All right. It's faster to actually go this way. Not dead yet. Yeah, just not having... Like, my control scheme just being so poorly built for... Um... Yeah, my control scheme is just so poorly built for ranged attacks that just is not a good weapon for me but we got some good equipment awesome and we now have a basically a teleporting attack I'm not sure how well the kotetsu is gonna do it really depends on how well I use it Nope. 
trying. But yeah, new weapon, not really well. Ball and a couple tries gonna all right just a sec i need to focus and i'll read it later oh my gosh i meant to use my talent and i just example of i need to focus b2 ball and a couple tries john came four tries it was new game plus 12 yep you guys watching the two of us doing runs prepared you good to hear good to hear Yep, just getting used to, like, a teleporting talent with the weird charge-up attack, as is. It's all just getting used to all of it, is the main issue. And also, I don't have a good spell for damage. Just making some mistakes because it's a new weapon. There we go. Got the cool ninja kill. And now. So yeah, I um, put up the times I'm trying to get, like the time I have, the time I'm trying to get. And we're also going to be adding, like if anyone's wondering, we know that sub one hour is very much possible. It just involves a bit of luck. Um, this I would say is an unlucky run, but... The unluck is all my fault, basically, because I'm the one who... Reset. Alright. Oof. To be clear, it is actually a bad thing if the fastest run involves you gain a talent like this. That would be a actively bad thing. No, I want to... So the whole reason I did this is so I could at do that. Try to save time, but I might have actually lost me time because I did it in a stupid way. Alright. Nonetheless. Also a theme that Mindful brought up that I thought was pretty cool. Because there's 250 health now, um it's now re reasonable to just like use apples for healing and not really have to worry about them. And I have Kotetsu, so I can actually do this. Oh. 
Come on. Made some bad mistakes. So this weapon sucks, but the Kotetsu has actually been pretty nice recently. Just a good way to just get that extra range. I could probably use it to just speed through certain things. It's just this weapon is not... Like, my control scheme does not support ranged weapons in the first place. But this is just like, let me know how bad it is. Weapon swap would be fantastic. Can't even get. Let's do it. safe. this get me a chest and bring me closer ah okay never mind we're just gonna suck at that because we haven't done it in so long meat kind of quick chest not too long of a delay We're just taking that for Halloween because we do not need any more health because we now start with enough health, which was a nice realization to have. with this weapon more than it needs to be. Definitely one of those question mark rooms when I can find them. Alright. Another question mark room. I accept. I accept we have a catalyst and this swippy swapping back to the main weapon or to the main spell is better than so this this spell has specifically become defensive so i don't need defensive spells or i have enough defenses Ooh. easy chest warden weapon all right we have a damage output build in our future. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. We have enough gold for what we need to do. This damage is unfortunate, but we are not dead. Fight pirates with pirates.
Just do that. Button. That would have been catastrophic. Whew. Not having shield is quite a different experience. I think we got enough gold though. And that is one of the things that this um, build does, is it gives us the gold boost. So... Five thousand is usually where we end on our first life anyways. Now I have it, and I didn't have to, like... To be clear, we're, like... The world record is at this point in nine minutes, so we are behind. But, like, when it comes to gold, we're not out of it. Because we have so much gold. Like, we are still in this race. Mm. Alright, up we go. Realize my mistake as we were through going through it. That's okay. Flame barrier, compulsive gambling. I accept. All right. We just need architect. We have more than enough gold for it. How's it going, Ace Law? We had a contrarian for our first life, so we're kind of adapting to that. We're gonna decline on the mage right now. The reason we'd consider the mage is because um, of its damage output, but its damage output is assuming we're actually, you know, get where we need to go. I'm not sure if I left enough for the... I did. Alright. I accept. Oop. One last level. Hey, Frosky! Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate it. How's it going, Gasmus? Ooh, so... Our last time we did speedruns... Yeah. We had um, the Mortal Kotetsu from the, from the um, Samurai, and the weapon from the Pirate. Turns out the weapon from the Pirate isn't so good when you don't have much experience with the weapon because you don't play at levels where that shows up. Um, do you know of the astrologer weapon? I happen to know that it's horrible because you just don't have the damage output to justify it and it's more of a defensive weapon where you trigger it and leave and you need, you know, an offensive weapon where you can just keep applying damage. Like, that's why I use the duelist actually because the duelist has a weapon that you just keep puncturing. You just keep wop 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 until they go down. Oh well. Found them all already. Yep. Alright. We need to go back and down. Thanks, Warg. For reminding me that I am mortal. As much as I like people to believe that I'm indestructible, I'm in fact human. For there's no greater purpose of a war than that. Whew. Alright. My previous save, it seems like I can't even unlock the character. Yep, it is one of the most... The pirate and the astrologer are the last two classes. 
and therefore likely um, require the highest level of all the classes. It's also like, you know, I think one's in the top left corner, the other's at the bottom right corner, so it's like you're trying to find them at the different edges of the screen. But yeah, that damage right there. That's why I like Flame Barrier. That's, yeah. That's why I like Flame Barrier. That's why I like, um... This Warden Weapon. That's why I like the equipment set I got. Oh. I'm... Oh, you don't see on your level 1000 save. What? Have you unlocked all the... Per have you purchased everything? There might be just... Like... If you have the entire castle unlocked, the pirate should be unlocked by nature of it. Alright, so now we just need to find a lily. Just making sure we didn't find a lily yet already. Do you? I'm just doing this. Astro is high damage per button press. Um, are we thinking of the same class? Because the Astro just leaves a... Bl oh, yeah, per button press. There, we I get it. Yeah. Yeah, so the Astro... If the attack deals its full damage, it's a lot of damage. The thing is... You can't really do anything to support it while it's dealing that damage. It's much. It's a lot like the chef in that aspect. That you just kind of set it off and let it do do its job, and you just leave. And for a speedrunner, I'd rather do the proactive strategy that deals more damage. Just need one lily. Thank you. Happy to see a leave stream for you, because I didn't watch until I have defeated the final boss. I have no problem with them. Glad to hear, Gatsmas. Gatsmas. Glad to hear. I have... My streaming schedule has been way out of whack, just so you know. So, like... Last time I streamed was two hours earlier at, um... Two Wednesday... Not last one, Not Wednesday, but the Wednesday before. So... Yeah, my streaming schedule is just out of whack right now. A little late for leather weapon. You know what? I'm gonna just fight Nama. I think I have enough health. I have flame bearer, I have damage output, and I can just grab book now. I can survive a hit from the nightmares, but not from Nama herself. And those are considered part of Nama herself. Well, that was my fault. That was my fault entirely. More compulsive gambling. Yep, more compulsive gambling. Well, this is what happens when you take risks. They don't always pay off. I do need to keep gaining levels, and we are running lower and lower on gold gain. So. So now that we're at full health, 
I know that sound this sounds completely backwards, but now that we're at full health, I'm going to leverage it to go explore the Stygian study. Yeah, Compulsive Gambler, doesn't matter how negative it is, the fact that my gold values are so variable means that I can still come out of this. Rage Tincture. How's it going, Kraken Style? Kane was really interesting and a hard fight. Glad to hear. Always like interesting fights. And again, we have enough health already. So I'm just going to keep moving. I'm going to take the Magic 8 Ball. Um, it's nearly the same damage. This and the 6% the damage boost could end up being additive in an important way. And again, we have enough health, so taking apples as just straight healing is not an issue. So the reason I'm going up and left, and like up prioritized, is because up is Enoch and left is generally gone heads. But like, it doesn't matter which one I find first, I'm trying to find both. So a routing that gets me um, towards both at the same time is by nature preferable. We're just gonna do that. Found Murmur even. Found Gone Heads. Alright. Take care of Gone Heads real fast. Oh my gosh. Alright, so apparently if you're close enough to them, you will actually ignore, um, you will, they can throw it straight into your feet, basically. Hey, didn't realize Rage Picture triggered off of, um, Shield Bash. It, I knew it used to, I didn't know they brought it back. Or that never left, whichever the case may be. There we are. Fun time with my in real life friend. Always good to have real life friends. Swooden, how's it going? Glad to hear you're here. 317% gold. Cool. What's. Alright. And we're going here to try to head right, because right is the direction towards the last heirloom. And once we pick up that heirloom, we can start climbing the sun tower. We are at level 25. All right. Sorry, I got to focus right now. I know there's several comments that I've been missing. And I'm just going to have to... Hey, happy to hear it. Happy to hear it, Swooden. Um, feel free to let me know if there's any specific content you're looking for or anything. I'm just kind of like... I'll be honest, I have been doing less content recently because it's just like... It's hard for me, one, to know what I need to do, and two, to know, like, to have the time to do it. Um, I've been working on game, like, interviews and other career-based stuff, so I haven't had time for the speedruns much at all. Alright, whatever. That's the wrong one. So yeah, that's one of the issues. There's two special rooms at the far right, and one of them is completely useless, and the other one is the most important room in this entire study. And how do you know which one you're about to run into? That's the neat thing. You don't. Um, I kind of hate the skeleton boss change thing. I think it's, I think it's more for newer players. It's more straightforward to have. It always um, pushing for, you know, always pushing forward instead of sometimes rotating rotating one way, sometimes rotating the other. Like to always know you could go under the bone is useful for new players. 
You yourself is honestly the greatest aspect of your content. Glad to hear it, Swooden, because I always try to do it by personality. Cults of personality are easier to maintain than world records. Hate stuff. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it, Swooden. Um... I will state that I do like I do want to branch out to more than Rogue Legacy 2, but obviously Rogue Legacy 2 is the theme that like I can was it? Come for Rogue come for the speedruns, stay for the personality. It's kind of the goal I have right now. Cause it's hard to say, hey, I have a personality that you're going to enjoy listening to. Because that's like I'm confident enough in that, but convincing someone of that as your channel pull doesn't makes sense logistically all right nice to see you speed ran again Jared yep I speed ran the very first day this came out of early access and then stopped because I'm just like all right that's world record to tell someone submits a run proving it and well a mindful line did create the run that beat my world record um like a while later it took till recently for it to submit it so now that it's submitted i have to fight for my title again so i put his world record time up on the bar so i know why i'm fighting um sorry if um i'm you know not reading everything as it comes by i do have several themes on my mind at the same time this run has been a bit of a wild one we started with a contrarian so i had to immediately learn how to use the ronin and the um i had to immediately learn how to use both the ronin and and the pirate in a speed run when neither of those classes show up usually so Ooh. Ah, pressed. I pressed attack instead of talent. Made so many. Decisions that are slow right now. I'll read all the comments in just a bit. Alright, the upper bone motion was easier to jump over when there's two of them. That is a good point, that having them both going the same direction does make an easier maneuver theme. Um, trust me, I'm Russian. Cults of personality are a theme here. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I actually think this... Um, spell is better against Enoch than Nama. So I'm gonna go for Enoch first. Um, so what do you think of the full release update? I've been loving it. Um, I haven't, just so you know, I haven't even gone to all the um, new Plank Game Plus contents. Like, I know that there's more scars and stuff for me to do. And from hearing what I know about those scars, I am very excited to start them up. But I haven't done it yet, which means I still have an ex I still have new experiences to show the people that watch this channel, basically, which is a pretty awesome thing to say after I've beaten the game and beaten it at a speed that is pretty impressive. By the way, I found a new way to block that attack. You go up here, and the platforms block projectiles. So you just stand there, and he can't hit you as long as he's below you. Well, this is why we have the book. So I just need to... No more mistakes allowed. 
Alright. Let's focus, because no more mistakes allowed. No more trying to read comments. I played the game with full release on German and it just felt so weird that I was going back to English. <laughs> wow. And that's why Compulsive Gambler is useful, because no matter how far down you go, you have the chance to roll yourself right back into the game. At the same time, yesterday I was watching someone else play, and I saw them roll 1% on Compulsive Gambler. So, F's in the chat for that player. Uh, I think it was because I'm Dan Jones was the name of the channel. He's a pretty cool guy. He does play frame. I, I just love the personality of... To be clear, I actually love the personality of the other Dan, but the two of them play together, and they bounce off each other so well. And they have... There's so many things that we're liking. As in, like, the love of... The way that he appreciates video games and, um... Like, the desire to speedrun something because you love it that much. Oof. Oh, two ball prime. So, um, as you might know, I was a QA tester surf theme. When I was QA testing two ball prime, they had some flaws, so they had to change it. So I actually have not seen the full release of two ball prime. Um... Trying to figure out where I stopped reading so I could try to read it before in the moth. Alright. I generally think the Ronin would be excellent for speedruns if you could actually get them. Um the damage is high, but the attack speed it has to be able to balance out with attack speed. And you'd have to be able to like get the precise crit pretty easily. Which is not something that every boss can do. You can do against every boss. But against the bosses you can do it with, definitely. There are definitely um Certain fights where the Ronin would probably be one of the best classes. But it has to be a fight where you can consistently um, that should split. Let's see. We talked about Terrified to still see the final primes. Um, hey, perfect. Average gold. The story at the end changes a bit with Kane Prime. Yes, um, Gas Nuts. There is um, a true ending after you get the final prime boss. How's it going on, Four? Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. But yes, once you beat the final prime boss, there's a slight change at the end. That if you're paying attention to the story is significant, but otherwise it's like, it's not like one of those so spectacle things that's like, oh, you have to see it. Like, if you aren't paying attention to the story, you're not, it's like, oh, hey, cool. You're not going to realize the significance of the moment, you know? I mean, you'll, it shouldn't be too hard to recognize the significance of it, but like, it's like, that's significant for someone I don't care about? And it's like, you have to be playing the game and like pay attention to the story to really care. Is what I'm trying to get at. 
Alright, so I've already used my double jump. I thought I was just going to take the hit. And I did the second time. We might just be entering a room to get this chaser off of me. Because that thing's going to be chasing me till the top of this room if I don't stop it. Just making sure. Oh my gosh! This room goes all the way to the top. We're going to go here just to reset that a little. Do that to make it easy on myself. Hopefully I don't need it again within 10 seconds. Which in a speed run, 10 seconds is actually quite a bit of time. All right. Good luck at, at work lurking. Glad, glad to have you here, man. We just got drowned weapon. Now I do not think we have enough equip weight to ever equip the drowned weapon. But that's cool. Thanks for coming by, Just Paranoid Fiends. Thanks for coming by. Here's opinion on the two new classes, the pirate and the astronomer. My only answer is they, like, they definitely deserve a place amongst the classes. They're just not my style of class, is all I have to say. Which, you know, perfectly fun, perfectly acceptable. Not You're not going to love every single class. In addition, like, I'm not going to ever have to worry about them in a speed run, except apparently today, because I had a contrarian that had the um, pirate's attack. But, like, I know there's a whole theme about how ranged attacks are unique. And so having two additional characters that do range in a unique way is pretty awesome. I will say that, like, the game deserved to have space. The game definitely had space for more ranged classes. So, they were good additions. They just weren't the additions that I'm going to be spending too much time on. That's the best way to explain uh, my opinion on the two new classes. I know for a fact I have a friend who absolutely loves that pirates now exist in the game. So we are good on gold, everyone. We are good on gold. We do have time to make up, but when it comes to wealth, we are good. We, so, in case you're wanting Just Paranoid, we took some risks, and the risks slowed us down, but gave us absurd amounts of gold. Alright, get our boxer. And we're just gonna queue up those two. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that strength increase. Alright. And I'm gonna stick to my heavy weapons route. I don't care if it's slower. The heavy weapons route is more consistent, um, whether or not it's um, faster. So I'm what I'm doing is I'm doing this scar simply to make sure I can guarantee um, that my future runs I will um, be able to decide precisely both the class and the spell I want. So now we just do a quick heavy weapon speedrun. How close am I to the end? Um, I still have three, bo three bosses and two mini-bosses. And of course, this is the hardest part of the run. I basically... All the money we're gaining from previously was to prepare us for this next point, because it's that hard. Fifteen eighty-five. that's pretty nice. Alright, we just need to get sub-20, because that gives us gold, which gives us the 300 souls we need. And the 300 souls we need is... So we can buy the teleports that we need. 
Oh my gosh, wait, we have... I'm gonna try something that someone brought up in the comments of my last video. So, I could buy once, but I cannot buy twice. Even with 6,000, that is not enough. That is good to know. Alright, boxers with flame barriers. There we are. And now, we shouldn't have to deal with the castle anymore for the rest of this run. So, hopefully this is all taken care of. So, do I have Paishan? I do not have Paishan. Do I have... Dash Heirloom is right next to it, so we got lucky there. So, I can just teleport over here. Go down to Paishan. We only have 150 resolve, so I am going to be... Like, if I pick up any relics on the way to um, grab the keys, I am going to start reducing my max health. But with 350 max health, 1250 is the actual number we need. That's fine. Alright, there's one straight down. We're going to grab that first. Um, the one all the way down is a teleport. And if this is just a key, I do not need that teleport. Or if this is just easy to access, like it is. Yep, okay. So we have now confirmed we only need to go right. Which is a fantastic thing to confirm. All those little dots are all the last rooms I need to enter. Ex with two exceptions. One of the exceptions is always at the bottom. And the other exception is that room that um, we just entered. So we now have confirmed we are good. Also, if you didn't notice, Boxer's special ability is to just dash through enemies as long as they're not attacking, which is part of why I like the Boxer in here, because it makes sure I can just move. I don't have to really... There are some enemies that I still have to worry about, because just them moving forward is considered their attack. But, okay. That's an unfortunate route, though. All right. Well, I'm going to grab... So that thing all the way to the right is the final, the entrance to the final boss, and it has a teleport with it. So we're going to grab that, and we'll head back afterwards. All right. Be back in a future check-in. Going to be busy afternoon. All right. I know we don't have our... Hey, VL Hunt! Thank you so much! I appreciate it. Uh... I always forget as boxer I can walk through enemies. Most people do. Most people do. Alright. So we're actually stopping by here because this is damage increase. Even if it's a slightly slow damage increase. And we need that meat anyways. Which if we're grabbing the meat, we might as well. Alright. So here's our damage increase. Love the concept of speedruns. I love this game. So what? So that's what got me here. Awesome. Glad to have you here, VLO Hunt. I'll try to explain as much as I can as I go. But Lava is obviously I am thinking really fast and I need to focus so all right I actually don't need to go down I just need to head right oh my gosh okay so traps deal the least amount of damage so I am actually a-okay with taking the trap hits all right I do not get iframes for this so all right we are going to have slightly reduced resolve, but hopefully we can pick up the keys and just bring them to their doors, and that can be this life's task. Alright. So, we have way lowered reduced max HP, but fortunately that max HP change does not affect our... Um, the change to our max health does not affect our um, current health, but we die in one hit anyways. <laughs> so just don't get hit, lol. Alright. Don't like you. Daggers are not our, our, are not friends, they're also not food. So just be wary of daggers. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the other key instead of trying to fight that boss right now. Now I can dash quite a bit, but not all the way. Alright. Alright, YOLO, let's try it with one hit, with one hit kills. Whew. Note that if I get hit once, I'm dead. Just flat out. 
So I have to, like, when I hit them, it resets which attack they're going to do, and I'm using that to my leverage to try to stop them, like, so they can target me, and then they just don't get around for the actual attack itself. Like so. Not dead yet. I really need him dead soon. Barius. Thank you, Barius. I appreciate it. There we go. Um, actually found your YouTube channel with a video about how to get the last message for two all increase because I didn't find the trick wall. Hmm. Just don't get hit, lol. 13 hours into your casual, just learning Enoch. Yep. Trust me, it took me very many hours. So, when I first started speedrunning, like, clear. To be clear, not when I first did a casual playthrough. When I first started speedrunning, it took me four hours to get to Nama. It took me, no, it took me three hours to get to Nama. Four hours is, if you count the time, it took fighting there. Because I did not win on the first try. So in case you're wondering, this is stopping them from making their attacks, which means I could just, you know... Oh, missed. But I did the main job. Which means... Despite being one hit away from death at the from the moment I started this mini-boss fight, <laughs> we did it on the first life. And there's just, with minus 70, there's not enough gold to make any distinct difference. So we just continue on. So to ball. We can either use a duelist or a boxer. Apparently boxer is faster, but it's harder. So I might have to switch over to a duelist later. But right now, we are going with fiends as is. I might have wanted to go in and um, purchase... What's it called? I may have wanted to go in and per um, switch over to Duelist Flame Barrier and just say, hey, we'll go for Boxer the first time, and if it fails, we switch out. Does it force you back home after every boss? No, I go back home um, reducing my max gold I can gain in order to gain damage boosts. Because if I don't, you know, you need a certain amount of damage to... Also, I can't tell how much... Ooh, didn't get out in time. So that's one of the risks of being the boxer. I think Poison Bomb is best for the ads. Perhaps for the ads, yes. Um, but as a person trying to do... Um, Poison Bomb is not best... We're going to just switch it over now. If I can't um, do it with this life, we're switch we're just going to be using the Duelist instead. Because the Duelist is what we want for the um, final boss. The, the next two bosses. Alright. How's it going, Ryan? Glad to have you here. Um, going to just keep focusing. Shield at one hit seems terrible to fight. Yes. Um, without the Boxer stun lock, it's pretty rough. Um... Anyways, so the reason I'm choosing a spell that does damage instead of worrying about adds is because the boxer's talent should be dealing with the adds. Oh my gosh. That was a hit that I did not need to take. Ah, oh, come on. So many things went wrong in the last few seconds.
And that's why I'm playing Switch from Boxer to um, the other class, because all the things that went wrong basically aren't going to happen with the Duelist. Because they, they, I don't have the abuse as the Duelist, but I have the ability to have just a fair fight with the Duelist. So I switch over to Duelist now. Vegan means absolutely nothing. We do not care about traits as long as they do not um, stop us from fighting. Like, pacifist. I know one of my runs I got pacifist in a life. Another one I got perfectionist. Those hurt. Um, I know that the last bosses can basically be done in 10 minutes. So if I can just do two ball in the next few attempts, I think I'd have... And I'd have to do the last bosses as well. So yeah, one of the big themes is because this game is so fresh for me... I do not have as much experience with the new 2-ball, because this is... The 2-ball has changed, and um, the strategy for facing him has changed with it. Uh, what? Okay, I did so many things wrong in those last 5 seconds, basically. Which is why I'm dying in one hit right now. Doing that just to... So now we're just getting rid of the ads. But yeah. As long as we have flame barrier, we have the damage output. How doing? The work is doing well. Um, I'm... Ugh. Hey, Fafa! Thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. I'm just trying to finish up. We are at the final last three bosses, which I simply lack as much experience as I should have as a speedrunner. It's something that I will gain in time, but until then, I am just grinding my head at them, and this is the best way to do it. This character has all the stats. All the stats I could possibly want. Um, so, I just need to get it right. And if I get it right this time, I'm still in pace for world record. And even if I don't get it right this time, I have pace for PvP, of course. Ah. All right. Took me four tries to beat two ball level one with poison bomb. I'll keep that in mind. All right. Well, we have a pacifist, so we're going with this. Nope, they have super fluid. We're just reti we're entering the castle and we're immediately killing this guy off. So f super fluid. It's supposed to be a buff where you um, can dash in any direction, but the consequence of it is my double my double dash does not work. I cannot dash backwards. And because of that, I will not be playing with this character. Took me four tries to beat two ball at level one with Poison Bomb. I'll keep that in mind. The Black Chaser attack should not be the issue. The issue is, like, that Black Chaser attack happened while I was doing some... While I was focusing on something else. And it was just foolishness, mostly. But, yeah, basically right now, it's just that I... Even when 2-Ball was the final boss at Dragon's Vow, I did not have as much experience on 2-Ball as I should have had as a speedrunner. So that's catching up to me. And now that there's two additional bosses after him, that catching up to me ha is having um, basically a um, chain effect. Where it's like now making it worse for me when I get to the next phase of, the con of it. It's... Doesn't help that I'm being too aggressive. Like, that was just straight too aggressive, to be clear. Okay. Came out from up below me. I wasn't ready. How's it going, hater? Um, super fluid messes up controls a lot. I dislike it too. I'll deal with associative. Um, Vengeful seems like a rough trait for a commander enemy. Vengeful is such a cool trait, but yeah, it's a horrible one to deal with. 
you basically have to fight the enemy and then you have to run and then come back and fight it later. Ugh. Let's see. Are you going to go for different genres or stay with roguelites like Hades or Ravita? I actually already have a run in Celeste. It just sucks. <laughs> I actually prefer the platforming sections than the roguelike sections, to be clear. All right. Oh, I was facing the wrong way, but we found a solution anyways. So yeah, I think Axe is the best spawn for me to get. There's, there's just not as much danger that the Axe gonna present to me. just a little too close that was just this is again just me learning the fight because um having it tough hyper coag is going to win this fight like i don't like the rest of this character but hyper coagulation is the most broken trait for speedruns. so this one's going to win the fight i'm in love with how the game came out very happy release yep is the pirate good for bosses? Fafa, we cannot get enough gold to even unlock the pirates. The fact that we're at level 44 right now is an absolute anomaly to how this run's supposed to go. We're supposed to end around level 31. Pirate, I believe, requires like level 60. So... Whether or not the pirate is good for bosses actually is insignificant because we cannot use it. Now, personally, I'm not good with the pirates, so I couldn't even tell you if it is. So yeah, this is unfortunately a character that doesn't deal as much damage as I'd hope, but has a ton of health. So it's not 385, it's actually more. It's just, it's, like, you can't really tell because of the way hypercoagulation works. Because equivalently, every attack is dealing maybe, what, 30 damage? I can't believe my grounded attack succeeded in stopping that. I will be happy to actually use this on um, the first of the two final bosses if it has enough health to justify it, which it's looking like it might. Ooh. is I need to not get stepped on because that's actually an issue now with Duval because of how fast he walks. The increase his walking speed. Ooh. All right. We're just going to shout. That's fine. That is 10 hits. That is more than enough to kill the first of the bosses. Alright, I think this fight is a lot over with black-white screen because of the background. 
Hmm. What about poor dragon having all of that happening in their stomach? Oh yeah, um, Ladon is a good boy who went through bad times. Very sad for Ladon. Um, I wonder if more expensive late characters are good for New Game Plus runs. They probably will be. They probably will be. Um, Super Koag is hero complex but way stronger. Yep. Don't even care. Just chunk through the health. <laughs> the fact that I got this close to killing me is actually impressive. Still got hit by the pizzas, even though I shouted. Sad pandas. Like, I have to stop my attacks to let him jump, or else he's gonna make things much worse for me. Oh. Alright. Well. I think the attack after the current... Like, I could take one more hit, and then it kills. That's okay. That should be enough help. Officially stopped breathing. All right. So this character, as I said, was overpowered. They had um, Hyper Koak. And we have one boss fight left. Insanely impressive as always. So I am going to enter the next boss fight and then I'm going to retire my hero. Because of the way this works, I have to walk up that mountain again if I just retire my hero now. I actually have to go meet the final boss and then I can do it. Whew. We do have, we are hoping to have a true ending speedrun category, just so you know. Insanely impressive as always, yep. By the way, I need to ask, someone already beat this game at level 1, what does this scene look like when you don't have any castle? Alright. Yo, bro. I heard you like apples. So I poisoned this apple because, well, we're going to talk about it later, actually. Actually, didn't get anyone. On, didn't have anyone on the wall. There were no portraits. Dude, nice. Does he still walk up a staircase? Cause there's no staircase. Miss you. Long time no see. How's it going, Chris? You know, doing well. Doing well. Um, I have some. Um, gosh, I have some interviews lined up, so I still have some works-related stuff that I need to worry about. But other than that, I'm doing great. As you can see, we are currently approaching, and like. With how many times we die to two ball, the fact that we're this close to um, world record should tell you a lot. Anyways, that was a mistake in damage. But luckily, he's doing an attack that I appreciate. Alright, that's phase one. 
Phase one is not the threat. Phase one is the intro. So by the way, in the world record, the guy actually thanks me when that attack happens, because apparently I'm the one who taught them how to do that um, evasive maneuver, because they didn't know what they were doing or something. I don't know, but I heard thank you, Tadpole, as they dodged that attack, so... Either way, I'm proud of myself. They do use Knight, where I use Duelist, but other than that, we have generally strategies. When I kill this boss, the run's not over for anyone who's saying like, oh, he's under the, he's under pace. Like, even if I kill this boss on this one, um, there's still a few more minutes of stuff I have to do. Alright, I'm just gonna play this defensively since I die in one hit. Woo! Alright. Ooh. Isn't talk to the pizza girl faster than going to the castle? It would be if I had a pizza girl. I did not, never, talk to the pizza girl in the first place takes time. And so... I ended up not talk getting the pizza girl in the first place. Alright. Door should appear here. Um Fisher General with a spin after his spin attack is like, hey, I can do that. Oof. I am focusing cause I am beating on the door of world record, but I don't think I actually have it. Oof. Ooh. Do we have hey, do have a cool personality is to actually <laughs> interact with your fan base. Yep. I am trying, it's just when you're in this moment, obviously it's really hard to focus on your fan base when you're trying to do what the fan base came here for, which is Sea World Records. It ends when I interact with the final stone. Which, um, you'll know it's the final stone because it's, it's not inside of this, it's, um, afterwards. Alright. Got first try, that's good. When that brought that a little lower than I needed to, but that's okay, I'd rather be defensive. All right. By the way, I could give you a suggestion. You mentioned that both you want to. <laughs> I was joke. Jared Mizzle. I was joking about the cold personality. By the way, um, stream move or die. I'll keep that in mind. All right. So once I see the bomb of this, I let go. I jump and I double jump, and that should get me there. All right. Looks like I'm not going to be being the world record at least according to this time. Um, it is entirely possible we use in-game time. In-game time does not count loading screens. With all of my deaths and retirings, I might actually still be game world record, but just by in-game time, not by real time. This I learned from Mindful, thank you. Once you get to that um, lantern, you can just jump. All right. So as this moves. All right, so once I interact with this um, big statue, once, once I interact, the run ends. And time. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Oh god. I accidentally... I can fix that. <laughs> I accidentally held down um, the up arrow key. And so it went through my time. I can look at my splits and check what my actual time is. Um, shouldn't it be when you get to the parade? Time stops here, and there are no actual actions you need to make from here. So... I was doing it at the cutscene. Mindful Line says do it here. Another person says it's when you do the last action. 
Um, Rogue Legacy 1 ends when you beat the final boss, even though you still have to talk through some dialogue. But there's nothing here in the parade that you need to worry about. 0.33 seconds of the world record now. No, I just... <laughs> I accidentally hit to the key again and caused the timer to keep moving. I can go check what that actually is. We're gonna... So while the parade's going, I'm going to... Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. While the parade's going, I am going to look at splits. 115.07 is what it said it landed at. Um, control. Undo. Nope. One more undo. Reset. Alright. So, according to this timer, the split time it has for me, so unfortunately I can't really show this because it's in the splits editor, but it says I got 115.07 as when I hit it. So, personal best is 115.07. I can go check the clock, you know, when I record this later um i could guarantee and i need to make sure that the global <sighs> all right having a little problems with my controls but everyone saw it <laughs> going tough to beat not four <laughs> in game time it's affected by what you do in the room did not know that Anyways, I know that the world record stopped at that point, and that doesn't matter, because here's the theme. The world record also has an in-game time, which is what we're basing off now, right? Which is what we're basing off right now, or one of the things we base off of. And it's entirely possible that because of all the deaths not counting, that I could be sub-hour, which would put me world record. Saw it so good. Thanks, N NS man. Alright, so we're going to... Um, just go, once I check how this is doing, at the very least, this is a darn good time. Alright. Oof. 101.48. What is the world record according to speedrun.com? Mindful line 101.32. 101.48. Oof. By seconds, people. By seconds, we missed it. 